Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I received a comment from one of the viewers and he shared with me this data set like so. His question was that if he has students and if their grades are repeated or duplicate, then firstly, he would like these guys to be ranked on their marks and those with unique grades should be ranked after them. All right, so he wanted to know exactly how can he go about doing that. I have come up with a solution over here. So let's just do it all fit together. Let me just copy this over here and scroll down. I am going to convert this into a table control T. Okay, the reason I do this um, is so that as the data set is going to expand, all four result is going to be dynamic and it's much easier to be handling as well. All right, so step one, and this step is crucial because it's going to be part of a solution. So that's the reason I'm actually writing it next to the table. Step one is to identify, uh, identify duplicates, okay? Now in this step, we are going to simply use count ifs count ifs and our criteria range is going to be the grades over here now because it's a table it's easy to actually just select the column header and we get the complete range selected okay comma and the condition is going to be i want i would like to know all those people who are equal to the grade that this guy is having so i'm going to put equal to in quotations and percent and the guy right here close bracket enter so let's say for example if there are more people so it is dynamic as well okay now second step like we said guys who are having duplicate grades there should be ranked based on the marks and after these people have been ranked the remaining people will be ranked based on their grades so step two is rank on marks okay now, this is going to be, again, a simple, uh, we're going to use uh, if condition, whoopsie, we're going to use if condition and we're going to say that if this guy is having any value which is greater than one, then we would like his rank to be done based on the marks. And for that, we are going to use count ifs function, okay? Let's do count ifs. The first criteria range, we're going to actually do a filter because we would like the ranking to be done only on these guys, right? The guys with, which have value which is greater than one. So the first con condition is actually going to filter out. So this is the result, okay? Or you can also choose it like that. You can choose like, whoopsie. Just choose it like this. This is your criteria range, comma, and the criteria is greater than one any value which is greater than one so you're going to put this in quotations use the symbol of ampersand and do one so now excel knows that he has to excel is going to actually filter out all those guys with any value more than one and then do the next step on that next step is that is going to do the second range is going to be the marks and quotations anything which is greater than the guy over here all right i want that to be given to me as a result and whatever the result is do a plus one now what happens is that if i do that within these two guys i'm asking excel tell me how many people have a score have a mark which is greater than this guy masood and that's just going to be one guy rana but this guy has a second highest. So this plus one is actually going to ensure that this Masood is going to get a rank of two. When we come over here to Rana, his this is going to actually read it as how many people have marks more than Rana? It's going to be zero. And with plus one, it's going to get a rank of one. Okay. And now for the false condition, I'm going to just leave it as zero because that's going to be our next step. Okay. So this is all done. Let's just drag it down. Now for the second, for the next ranking, we want the rank done on unique grades, right? But for that, I need to know exactly how many people are there in my data set. And out of those, how many people have already been given a rank in, you know, in step two. So for that, let's just do total. 
and I'm going to highlight all of this in a light green because these are my helper uh, or background formulas, if you may. Okay, equal to count A. And let's just choose the first column over here and enter. So I know there are a total of four people. How many people have gotten their ranks based on the marks? Again, I'm just going to come to the cell over here, use count ifs, and in step one, select that range and comma, and I'm going to say the condition, all of those people who are greater than one, how many are they? So greater than ampersand one, so I know there are two people who are greater than one, so it means two ranks have already been used out of four. Let's make this guy as five, so it means three ranks out of four have been used. So in step three, the next rank should be starting with four. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> All right, let's do undo. Now here in step three, I'm going to use the exact same formula which I have over here. Okay, for the true condition, I'm going to copy this formula. We're going to do a little bit of a tweaking. All right, because again, like I said, this first criteria is actually to filter out those guys who have a rank of one. So where we have greater than, change this to equal. Whoops, change this to equals. And now the second condition over here, where the ranking should be done based on the grades. So it's as easy because it is a table. I can just remove the column name, select this. And if I do this and select this. So my column, my formula is updated. Do an enter. Now just one more thing, because I want that whatever the rank comes over here, it actually starts counting after two. So put all this formula in bracket and do a plus. This many number of people have already gotten the results. So we are going to add it. Do a control or F4, fix it and drag the formula down. So these two guys have already gotten the results and the remaining guys have also gotten the result. And you can see they are all unique. One, two, three and four. Let's put all this together, final formula, and final formula is going to be a combination of step two and step three. So let's copy all of this, all right, and paste it. Zero is going to be replaced by the formula in step three, which is this. And I like it because already my conditional, uh, my formula is long, so I'm going to put that in the second row. So it doesn't get confusing that, okay, where the true condition is ending and where the false condition is starting, okay? And do control V, close brackets, enter, and there you have it. This is your solution. If you want, you could, whoops, if you want, you could actually delete all of this. It doesn't make any sort of a difference. And remove the conditional color. And let's do a testing. Let's add another row over here with same duplicate grade and let's make it one and here you have unique results so let me know in the comments down below exactly what did you think of the solution and if you have another way of handling the situation again share that in the comments i would be interested to learn and so would be the other people all right guys until next time much love god bless bye well guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and share with your family and friends and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, until next time, stay tuned. Much love. God bless. Bye.